Hello, back again. It'll be a beautiful hot day, but it'll be a very hot day today. Hot, steamy, not so much steamy, but a hot summer day. It's 9.20 in the morning on Tuesday, January the 31st, 2017. The word hate crime is a very ambiguous word, very big word, that has many different meanings. Some hate crimes, out hate crimes, yes, they're real hate crimes, like in Melbourne and places like that. But it can be also used to attack people like myself, by people like that Helen Gow who told lies about me masturbating myself, a blatant bait, straight black lies, and I take her on in depth. She wants to come around my place, come on, come on lady, do it, and I'll fight you. I'll fight you through the media, I'll fight you anywhere. The same thing as Gary Burns, who tells lies, black lies, that I vilify homosexuals. I vilify no one. I may be a homophobe, yes. I'm a happy little homophobe, because I believe a homophobe is a good thing to be, to hate sin. But I don't attack homosexuals. And hate crime can be used in good or bad. It's a very ambiguous word. It's an academic word which needs to be defined far more than what it is. And I'm one example of it. Another person's example of it is Luke McKee, who writes to my blog every now and again. He's been falsely accused. He's not what he, people call him. Luke McKee is innocent. Gary Burns is a troublemaker. And then Helen Gow is another troublemaker that's come along as well. That woman is one of the major reasons I will not sell my home to pay Gary because if I sold my home I would have a lot of extra money hang, hanging over and I would have and I would incite too many other people to come in and take the court on false accusations to get money. It's in a trust fund, it can't be sold, and that's the way it's gonna be. I've got nothing else to say on this. I won't be talking about this anymore. But that's that's it. I'm bankrupt again until 2019. After 2019, I'll be set free. And I'll just go all out. I'm not giving in. Thank you very much, and bye for now.